Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwarash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waken up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit and at best, I'll quote precepts, okay? And uh, what the spirit uh, uh, has put upon me, you know, as of late, uh, is the fact that, hey, like the scriptures say, we sh hey, uh, rejoice evermore, man, okay? Now, of course, there's a dichotomy to everything, you know, uh, like the scriptures say, uh, what's that, uh, I believe it's the book of Sirach, chapter 42 and uh, 24, it says, uh, uh, one, uh, all things are created double, one against another. You know, basically to uh, roughly paraphrase, and one thing establishes the good of another. Okay, so um, you know us being in hell, you know, and being in the worst captivity we've ever been in. Okay, balances out the fact that we're at the end of this thing, man. Okay, and the scriptures say, "Rejoice evermore." Okay, and um, what are we rejoicing in? We're rejoicing that we're living to see the downfall of our enemy, man, okay? Now, of course, like with everything with the Heavenly Father, okay, there's a, a what's the word I'm looking for, a gradualism, okay? Things, and the Heavenly Father can, okay? But um, there's an immutable thing with the Heavenly Father that he cannot lie. So everything that was written in the scriptures, okay, has to be fulfilled, okay? And then, uh, but the beauty in that is understanding uh, the times that we're living in, okay? We know, uh, like it says in the book of First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, okay? Uh, the apostle Paul basically said, there's no need for me to write unto you about the times you're living in because, hey, we're, we're, we're children of the light, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. And we're watching, you know? What are we watching? We're watching the prophecies, okay? Why? Because the prophecies give us insight Onto the times we're living in, okay? And that's how the Heavenly Father set it up. You see, uh, Amos the third chapter, speaking about the Most High will do nothing, lest, uh, 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 you know, lest he uh, reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, and why is he revealing those secrets to the prophets? Because the prophets were set up to go and prophesy, okay? So ultimately, you know, the, the, the hopefully elect, okay, the righteous amongst the nation of Israel, okay, will wake up, and realize the times that they're living in and turn back to the heavenly father okay and that's exactly how he programmed it okay it's none of this is of the will of man you know uh you know or self-will all of this is going according to the heavenly father's plan and uh like the elder yashua likes to say man everybody's marching to the tone of prophecy whether you want to or not it doesn't matter okay so that's another reason why we're commanded to watch as well as pray. Watch to see what's going on so it can show you, look, hey, we're getting closer, man. And really, that's why our comfort lies, okay? Obviously the scriptures, but most, more, more precise and more importantly, okay, these prophecies, man, okay? And really, that's why the scriptures say rejoice evermore, okay? Because yeah, we're in the worst captivity and we're uh, rapidly approaching uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, okay the hour of temptation okay but we also understand that hey jacob's trouble is not for 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 those that are being obedient to the heavenly father okay the scriptures say only with thine eyes shall i receive shall thou see the reward of the wicked you know so our focus ain't on death and destruction okay although that has to happen in order for us to be delivered okay we're focused on life like the scripture said and what helps us to stay focused on that, obviously, is the scriptures, but the prophecies, man. Okay? And, um, you know, hey, like it says in the book of Sirach, I believe... 
it's one of my favorites. It, it leaves momentum right now. But uh, it basically, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, it says uh, there be nine things in my heart that I find, uh, you know, happy, and the tenth I will utter with my voice. Uh, uh, he that liveth to, uh, you know, have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy. Okay. And hey. Hey, that's a hundred percent true, man. Especially when you come into the understanding and you realize, okay, who we are, what we've been through, and what is being planned, what this devil has planned, which is ultimately, uh, which is ultimately the mindset of the heavenly Father. Okay, because like I, I mentioned earlier, everybody's marching to the tone of prophecy. Okay, but the scriptures tell you that those scourges and and, and, and destruction, all of those things, are for the wicked, man. Okay, so if our focus is on righteousness and we're thirsting after righteousness and consistently doing the things that the scriptures tell us to do, okay, the things that are conducive to salvation, then we don't have to worry about that. Okay, why? Because that'll be double minded. You're worrying about whether you're going to die or not, but you're hoping for salvation. Okay, now of course, that vibration is there, but that, hey, we ain't to give that no thought, man, because really, the issues of life and death belong to the Heavenly Father anyway, okay? But the mindset that we're in is of the hopeful elect. And that word hope means expectation, you see? So we expect what? To be delivered, you know? Because it's either one or the two. You either expect to be delivered or you expect to be put to death, okay? And that's definitely not our mindset, man, okay? But yeah, brothers, we, we should be in the spirit of rejoicing, man, because we're seeing the downfall of this man. Okay, and also having the assurance, okay, that the, the wicked plans that he has, the Heavenly Father is not going to let him fulfill those things, you know? Like the scripture says, uh, before uh, he, uh, you know, uh, fill up his belly, then the Most High shall, you know, roughly paraphrasing, the Most High going to show up and show out, man. Okay, because, hey. He is the devil the Bible speaks of, and the plan that he has is extremely sinister, okay? And when you sit back and look at it, he's going to kill a lot of Jakes, man. A lot of them, okay? And why? Because the Heavenly Father wants to kill a lot of Jakes. And the scriptures tell us that he is the sword of the Most High, okay? But, hey, guess what? We serve Yahweh Bashim Shah. So we don't have to worry about that, man. You know, our, our focus on that should be on uh, uh, heaven, uh, the Heavenly Father keep the spirit on us man okay protecting us and having us enduring the faith abound in this word man okay and of course we have to do our part but hey that should be the focus man abounding in this faith and, and, and rejoicing that you know this you know i say it all the time I'm like a broken record but one of the greatest things i ever heard apostle Taha say is he's not focused on you know Specific, well, why the Lord didn't come in? Come on, you know, the, the whiny spirit. Of course, we hate being here. We hate our lives. All that good stuff, okay? But focus on the fact that the Lord saw fit to show you this word. And that's exactly what the elder apostle said. He said, I'm just thankful the Lord showed me his word, okay? And his knowledge and wisdom is, is something that it's going to take forever to obtain. Which, you know, as a, 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 a philanthropist, or, 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 you know, a philosopher of the scriptures, meaning to love, you should love knowledge and wisdom, okay? Because the, the knowledge and wisdom of the Heavenly Father is infinite. And that's why the scriptures speak about us, hey, life everlasting, okay? As a father, you want to reveal things to your son. You want to sit down and talk with him and give, the, give him the knowledge and wisdom that you have, okay? But when you're Yahweh, okay, <laughs> by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that knowledge is everlasting okay and it's gonna take forever for us to learn it which is a great thing man okay so yeah brothers rejoice man yeah it, it sucks and the, the the tribulation is gonna ratchet up but hey the scriptures say I, uh, I forget which book in revelation where it speaks of you know that great multitude and that uh uh, uh the uh john the revelator saying who are these and the angel saying, they, these are they that came out of great tribulation. So that's a part of it. It's going to be tribulation, man. But, hey, the scriptures also say better is the end of a thing than the beginning of a thing. And we are obviously at the end of this thing, okay? 
So, hey, another reason to rejoice, brothers. Let's just stay in that spirit, preach life, you know, and, um, you know, prepare to, you know, receive, uh, uh, you know, the blessings that were set up for the hopefully elect, man, okay? And, and stay positive, man, because, hey, Satan is rearing his ugly head, you know? You, you're hearing testimonies and brothers, you know, speaking out against it and demons jumping on brothers, you know? So not only pray for yourself, brothers, pray for the body, man. Pray for the elders, okay? Pray, pray for, pray for, uh, you know, a stable mind state, man. Okay, because it's only gonna get harder, and that's our secret weapon. I just did a, a, a spiritual spill on that. Our secret weapon, that's prayer, man. Okay, so um, yeah, I believe I hit the point, and Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, I say shalom.